Maluba is unique. Maluba is an educator. She's a content creator. Maluba is an aunt. Maluba is a sister. Maluba is living with HIV. My name is Muluba, or Maluba, as most Canadians call me. At the age of two, I was diagnosed with HIV. My father was unfaithful in his marriage, contracted HIV, unknowingly transmitted it to my mother, who unknowingly transmitted it to me. My name is Sean Hosine. I am the science and medicine editor of Katie.ca. HIV stands for human immunodeficiency virus. If left untreated, HIV weakens the immune system, and if the immune system is weak, then people can get life-threatening infections and cancer, and this is called AIDS. Understanding what the virus is scientifically was easy, but understanding what it is in society was a lot more complicated. <laughs> My mother, she had those stigmatizing thoughts about HIV that I think maybe was worldwide. She just thought that herself and her youngest daughter would die in a matter of months. I went to a Catholic school. Even though nobody knew that I was living with the virus, I felt like the biggest joke and I really came to the realization that, oh, this is something bad that I have. This is a secret. This is something to be ashamed of. And I couldn't imagine dating a boy and telling him, and I didn't know what it would look like to have a job and have this. I thought that HIV would stop my life. It was confusing growing up. I truly remember talking to my doctors and them really saying, getting on medication will keep you healthy, it will keep the virus at bay, you could live a long, healthy life, and I don't think that that was something people living with HIV were told before then. U equals U means undetectable equals untransmissible, and it means that when you're on effective treatment, your virus is so low it's undetectable. It means you can't pass on the virus to your sexual partners. For a virus that destroyed many, many communities, it really is amazing to see that same virus. We detect it, treat it right away, get you on medication, and you cannot sexually transmit. We're dealing with bad ideas that came from 40 years ago, from a time of fear and panic, and it kept being perpetuated. Many people with HIV don't always feel it's safe to tell other people because of these misconceptions that are still out there. At some point I just realized I have nothing to be ashamed of. It just floated out of me to tell my truth. I took out my camcorder and put on this obnoxious pink lipstick and on my toilet recorded a video and disclosed that I was HIV positive. I got a lot of love and then I got, you know, some hate and then I got some silence, but I did not regret it. I felt very in control and really at peace. To somebody who is living with HIV, whether they've been recently diagnosed or is struggling with the virus or struggling with stigma, I would encourage them. Go out for your supports, ask for what you need. You can go to Katie for more information on living with HIV and what the virus means. There's absolutely resources for you. I think it's important to get tested from time to time. Anyone who's sexually active or ever been sexually active so that they know their status and they can, if positive, get help, get treatment. My mother told me when I was younger, you are black, you are female, and you are living with HIV. This world was not built for you, but you are going to make it work for you. I grew up, I buried my mother and father, I did, you know, things that people that young shouldn't have to do. Then I went to post-secondary school, I got a job in the workforce, I went on dates, I was in relationships, I was out of relationships. 
I was first apprehensive about even doing this and I got some advice from people that said, you know, you can make it what you want it to be and you can remind people who you are and you can remind people that HIV is just a facet of it. It's just one piece of the story.